We've all been brought up to use passwords to connect to our computers, websites, social accounts and online banking. But with so many passwords to remember, many of us fall into the trap of using the same password for everything. And of course that's really bad. Let's say a shopping website gets hacked and you've used the same password for that as for your email account, then a hacker could potentially log on to your email and start requesting password resets for all your other accounts. And even if we use different and complex passwords, there's still risks from phishing sites, keystroke logging software, or somebody reading the post-it note you stuck in your laptop bag that someone can find out your password. Of course, it's bad enough with your own personal data and systems, but what about our work information? What if our business systems have financial information about customers, or healthcare systems have sensitive personal data about patients? How do we reduce the risk of hackers gaining access to this information? Well, the answer to that is a thing called two-factor authentication. Two-factor authentication uses a combination of something you know and something you have in order to grant you access to your systems. Using two-factor authentication makes it much, much harder for hackers. They would have to know your username, your password, and have stolen your mobile phone and be able to unlock your mobile phone in order to gain access. You might not be aware if someone has discovered your password, but I bet you'd know pretty quick if your mobile phone had gone missing. At your office anywhere, we've teamed up with one of the world's leading security providers to offer two-factor authentication to our hosted desktop customers. So let's see how it works. When you connect to a remote desktop, and in this example we're using an RDP file, the first thing it asks you is for your password. So this is your first authentication factor. And you may even have this password saved on your PC or laptop. Then, as it logs into the remote desktop, it sends a push notification to your mobile phone app. My phone was already unlocked in this example, so I simply open the app notification and click approve. And bang, it immediately lets me in, very quick and with very little effort for the users. If users don't have smartphones, it can be configured to call them or send a text message, or even use a separate hardware token that has a unique passcode that changes very frequently that the user can enter. Once in, the user can work away just as normal before logging out at the end of the day or disconnecting the session. There's a wide variety of authentication methods that can be used to make it easy for every user to securely log in. And customers have the option of a self-service management to provide end users with the ability to easily manage their own devices during login without having to go to a separate portal or contact a help desk to when they get a new mobile phone, for example. I hope that's been helpful, but if you'd like to find out more, please go to our website, yourofficeanywhere.co.uk or give one of our technical sales consultants a ring on 01282 500 318 or simply email us at sales at yourofficeanywhere.co.uk. Thank you very much.